Hi. 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 <laughs> so excited to chat with you guys. What's what's going on? Oh. We're dying. We're just recalling some funny funny <laughs> stuff from the set. And oh, there was. A, I'll tell her. There yeah, was I tell scene, her. There was a scene. Please. There's a scene in the movie where I'm in a fireman's costume. We've been talking about this now for yeah. three, three. It doesn't get old keep though. Talking about it. <laughs> so I, I come out of the fireman's uh, as a fireman out of this bank after I just robbed. She wanted to see me do it for the first time, and it's Thomasville, Georgia. 110, August, yeah, 100, oh, yeah, over 100 degrees. June, 110 degrees. And I get out of there, and I'm supposed to get into the car, and I show her the money, and she's supposed to get all hot and bothered by I mean, how attractive I am. And I jump. So she has basically. to jump me and kiss me. Well, the reality is that after we said cut, she turned over to the hair and makeup person and goes, <laughs> <laughs> probably the only leading lady he's ever had that's ever done that. Because um, I was so he sweaty. Was, I was basically, disgusting. yeah, he was. And I'd look at her after the my kiss. My face was drenched with his sweat. Oh my okay. God, that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Well, I actually, it's uh, so funny because I actually noticed that after, um, all the disguises, like the time that, that uh, Gilbert would run out of the bank, by the time he ran out, he'd be sweating. Oh yeah. And I was curious. So how much of that, that was, was real? Was fake sweat and how much of that was real sweat? Oh, that's all real. That's real. I mean, it, there was no avoiding it because it was, it was literally like 110. Uh, the, 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 like the prime part of summer in Georgia. Thomas, Southern Georgia. Yeah. Southern yeah. Georgia. Wow. And we were supposed to be in Ottawa or we're Vancouver or wherever yeah. we were supposed to be at in winter, time. in the middle, like November. <laughs> So, so there was no yeah. avoiding it, but you know what? It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I mean, it worked. And that was actually brings me to one of my questions I had um, about the disguises. What was your favorite disguise? And Josh was your wife a fan and Alicia as his on camera wife. Did you have a favorite disguise of his? Well, was clearly, it the fireman outfit? I was going to say, clearly the fireman yeah, outfit was my, uh, that one got her all. My, all that one was, yeah, that was hot. <laughs> 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 but uh they were all great i mean he he had you could tell how much fun he was having when you know it, he got to change and, and kind of uh, assume these different personalities you know and really... different people would start coming up as you're getting ready i was like i didn't really know what i was going to do in these because <laughs> yeah. a lot of times they were just little bits of just quick pops of me in this thing robbing a bank and i'm out well, I would yeah. get in there and I would just start playing around and having, I, while I was in the makeup chair, I'd see myself and I suddenly I had a lisp or an <laughs> accent or, you know, whatever, whatever came up, came up there. I wasn't expecting. So they would just let me roll with it. Yeah. And that. that was one of the best parts about this movie is just the, the playfulness that we got to have throughout. And Alan was all about it and kept a lot of it. Not to mention the wardrobe for like 1985 is, is. Yeah. Com comedy already i mean it was like those wardrobe fittings were hilarious i was like are we really gonna wear these outfits this is insane <laughs> so fun so Some fun. Of those sweaters were just oh wow funny. those sweaters were loud for sure it's so <laughs> great yeah. oh. middle of august oh. in georgia <laughs> yeah. so yeah sweaters in august in georgia that's like didn't they wear t-shirts in the 80s <laughs> <laughs> not, in <Canada. laughs> not in canada not in canada <laughs> Uh, so, um, how aware were both of you guys of the true story of Gilbert Gavon Jr. and beforehand, and what attracted you to this project? I mean, I was I I was only like three when this was all going down, so obviously I wasn't familiar. But then to go back and and do the research and see the interviews, um, the Canadian program, the Fifth Estate, did a, a huge um, piece on him, and I you know I was so familiar with the areas that you know, where his sort of stomping grounds and, and where their relationship really um, evolved was I've lived there. I have actually lived in Ottawa in the Glebe. So for me, it, it was, it was fascinating. And, but yeah, so really cool to get to, you know, know about this story and, but to, had no idea about it beforehand. Yeah. Neither did I, not until I'd read about it and got to meet Gilbert and talk to him a little right. bit about it before we started shooting. Uh, it's surprising to me that I hadn't heard of it because it's pretty prolific what he did. I yeah. mean, 59 banks. Yeah. That's a lot of banks. <laughs> no. and, and over almost every province in Canada, other than Newfoundland and Prince Edward Island, because he had this thing where if he landed on an Island, he was afraid he wouldn't be able to get off. And when you're, you know um, he didn't want to be sort of, you know, uh, unable to get out. Like if a, mm -hmm. a flight was delayed, but other than that, 
every other province, which is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Imagine, you know, someone in the States, like hitting up every state and robbing every bank, you know, yeah. a bank in every state. It's just, yeah. it's unbelievable. Yeah. Insane. I know the fact that it took so long for him to get, to get caught and everything. Um, so last question. So you mentioned this, Josh, you said you did speak to the real Gilbert. What was that like? Oh yeah. Yeah. We all did. I talked to him a few times before we started shooting and then he came to the set uh at first he was i was mostly concerned or, or curious about what he was going through like uh, mentally and emotionally getting prepared especially for the first one and how did it feel and and what made you keep wanting to keep wanting to do this uh and he was very technical about it he was very much about like well you remember specifically how he would cut his turtlenecks in the back so he could easily tear it away and he would have the, these ways that he became an expert at quick sort of changing in and out of uh, these costumes and creating noses and all the, the disguises. But he was mostly concerned about when he was going to get paid, like when he could come to the set. <laughs> he was, he, he kept telling me, to, and, he, and he, I gave him my number and he, and he, he would, he you would did. reach out wondering when, when he could to make sure that I checked to see if it was okay if he came to the set when we started production so he could get paid for his producing fee. <laughs> Of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs>